guys and welcome back to brand new Pips vlog. I am almost ready to hit the water again after nine months of recovering. So I'm really excited to go to the water again. But for now, I'm gonna pick up my new kite gear. Let's go. Hoppate. Nice. That's one more Ooh, exciting. Big bag man. For me. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> my sister. So which one is mine? Mm, maybe I, you can borrow my. I one. take this one. Oh. I think it's my favorite color. That's really nice. Very really happy with the logo as well. <laughs> nice and crunchy. Always good when you have a new kite. And it's good that you are um, is not packing their kites in plastic anymore. Dr. Can you moist? Yeah? Deze. Here we're discussing which color is best in which condition. For example, the yellow one in the storm, the blue one in crystal clear water, and the red one, yeah, probably in every condition. Also, we're very impressed how the logos turned out on the kite. So, gear-wise, I'm definitely ready to hit the water. <laughs> Acting! Oh. Oh. Mm. Ligt er al de Weg! Oh, I'm really curious to test the, the Rebel. Because I've seen everyone doing some sick big air tricks with it. Let me see the job. I'm excited to try it out as well. And then when are you going uh, to get on the water? If it's windy tomorrow, mm. then I'll be kiting tomorrow. And how's the forecast? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's no wind on the forecast. But it's been nine months waiting, so I think an extra week or so is not a problem. I have some patience. How much money do you think this is? 10k. 10k? I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Duotone! Love you guys! Juke, juke. <laughs> what are you going to do with uh, 10 kilogram of uh, augurk on the water? Yeah, for some extra weight, you know. <laughs> if it gets really windy. So we have a family party tonight. I can do it now. Hey, we all have to work. How are the children? Yeah, good. Can you do it? Yeah, I'm a board. Yeah, boy. Don't tell me. I got more important duties to do because I received these nice boards, straps. So let's set it up. So welcome Hello. to the Duotone Academy. I'm your student. Can you tell me something about these two boards? This is a Jamie SLS 133 and I use it for Big Air, it's my favorite one. It's very light, it has really nice channels over here so you can get some nice board offs. Oh, wow. Nice. And the back, oh, it's also very nice. I like the graphics, it's, it's artistic. It's a bit crazy like me. I use the handle still to practice some easy board offs. And you go strapless on this board. I uh, don't go strapless on the board, but I didn't have a screwdriver to put the straps on yet. But I use the Entity Ergo straps on this board. Those are very soft straps and I really like them. On to the next board. So this is the big air board and I use 5 centimeter fins for it. Because if you use bigger fins, you can edge harder and you can go higher. For the next board, the Team Series SLS. It is size 136. It's a little bit bigger than the other one because for freestyle, for the landings, it makes it easier. And with big air, you use a smaller board 
So um, if it's very strong wind, it's easier to hold your edge basically. And with freestyle, you want to have a bigger board, so it's easier to land. It's also different the shape, because of it like this. Yeah, it's also thicker and it's heavier. I use this one not with straps, but with boots and no handle, because then I would be a boomer. Are you a beginner if you use a strap? A handle. I think if you use a handle with boots, that's what my dad is doing. That's not so cool. But you use straps uh, with a handle and I use that too. So then I would be a beginner as well. Okay. I don't care about it. So if you want to use a handle, use a handle. Don't make life too hard. You see Andrea as well is using a handle that goes like this. So we can all use handles, pro or beginner. For this board, I use the three and a half centimeter fins because if you want to slide your board over the water, it makes it easier. And yeah, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know in the comments and I will uh, answer them. In the meantime, while I was waiting for the wind to be suitable for my first session, I was enjoying the beautiful rainy weather in Holland. And as you can see, I'm still training a lot, getting my legs stronger and stronger to be ready to hit the water. But I still have to be patient. It's not that windy, but at least the sun is out right now. Thanks for tuning in guys and see you in the next one.